Hey there, everyone. The South Calvin Shimmer Galaxy the second, and I mean, I know what we're going to be doing today. Last time, I snuck in a little peek at what that crown floating in space was going to be. And, uh, I do get a letter. Thank you, Peach. And, uh, it's block like, what, it's called Boss Blitz Galaxy or something? It's gonna be a boss refight. It's gonna be like a boss marathon. Well, I don't know if it's gonna be a marathon. Now, we did fight a lot of, like, small incidental bosses throughout the game, so maybe it's more focused on these. It's weird because, so then Luma is gonna be one more dot, but then there's also, there's like, it's gonna leave one more peg, though, on a map. So will there be two levels from the Luma, for example, and we're gonna be getting 122? That's just weird. Throwback! Throw the Ooh, what if it's Galaxy 1 bosses? It is! I recognize this tree! It's the mole! That's gonna be King Caliente! And that's- Okay, so it's... Galaxy 1 bosses! Oh, I should have trusted you, Nintendo. Yeah, they're just- Yeah, we got these. I don't know. This is gonna be trivial to port into the game. Okay, well that's immediately a lot more interesting. It's just that I'm not good at boss fights in general. I'm just worried. Alright, so, you though, I am missing. It's pretty good. Alright, there you go, during the cutscene, you missed your cursor. Because I was trying to nab some star bits, and that was just not happening. Alright, you're a man, yeah, you are a newborn. And, uh, the first thing you feel once you are burned is rage, followed by head trauma. And <laughs> you're just dead. How does it feel, a small child, to be alive for less than two minutes? But it's Mario! He's the hero! Don't worry about it. I mean, should I get these? Uh, I'm aware that there's another post-game, like, grind? People have been alluding to. Anyways, there's an octopus. I destroyed your child early in the game, but I'm on a donut. Wait, is there anything underneath? Yeah, that's right. Uh, well, how do you get the the metal? Like that? Yeah, there we go. Hey, look at that. It actually does look like a big bowl. All right, hey, you got watermelons? You sure do. Whatever, it's an unripe coconut. It looks like watermelon to me. It's green, it's striped. Look at the fire physics there on the lava. It's pretty excited. Uh, right, we're playing tennis. It's tennis time with the king. I feel like I should be. Uh, what do you do? Oh, whoop. Uh, well, that was avoidable. Okay. I'm trying to destroy these. The game is just not listening to me. Dude, that is a, such a bad return. You are, like, tossing them all over the place. You're supposed to try and bean me. You're not playing tennis. Then again, uh, he might be aware that I will reflect it back to his head and he's trying to make it so that I am not volleying it back. So, I retract my statement. Your move was actually well-founded. All right, how do you fight you? I sometimes you jump up. And I do that, and I don't do nothing. Like, we saw enemy versions of you. Is it just wait for you to get up and then I don't do anything? Come on, this, I wanna heal. Oh, that's right. Now he's dizzy and I flatten him in the butt. No, he's mad, he's hurt. And the Luma Prince is just kinda there. All right. Now he is around. Once again. Oh, well he moved exactly where I was, which is very rude. Uh, I am not in control here. Like, I just, I don't know what I was supposed to do. Okay. Yeah, I remember struggling with him in the first game, for what it's worth. <laughs> kind of the, in the exact same way. Uh, okay, there we go, there we go. Wait, ran away. Don't run away. Now he's running away. Ah! Somehow that didn't count. I don't get it. 
Man, I just cannot, like, just understand him. Like, how did that not knock him up? I don't get it. Uh, then he just kind of, like, appeared briefly there, too. That was pretty good. I don't get him! Like, I just don't understand him. Alright, well, I gotta replay my way all the way here, because there was no midpoints. Like, there, that was kind of free. He's very mad. He teleported. That happens. I feel like the only difference is that I got lucky. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't, and I've internalized something, but... Like, the fight was a l I don't know! I don't know! <laughs> I don't get that one. Ooh, Bouldergeist. Okay. Oh, here we get a midpoint. I mean, I'm full of health. I appreciate it, buddy. I'm not in requirement of your services right now. Sup, Boulderghost, Bouldergeist! Alright, how does the fight with you work again? I remember it being kind of involved. Uh, yeah, you gotta swing those at him, right. There we go. Uh, that is such a cool thing. Alright, kind of wasted that. Who goes, but that's okay. There we go! Now I need to hit his Orban, the most important organ of the ghostly body. Now he's got hands! And that's when the fight gets interesting. Because he's got hand boss moves. But we're in a 3D game. Now every game style can have an hand boss. Uh oh, I kind of let that happen, I feel like. Alright, kind of not on purpose, but here we go. Uh, go, that's right. Feel the pain. Big punch nowhere. You did it. Alright, he's yucking. Alright, we got stones. We got little things. Why can't we go here if I want? It's not good. I want you to throw rocks at me. Alright, there you go. Good boss. Oh, we got a little gold in the orb square. Whoa, that's right, I'm dual wielding! Didn't do any lasting damage, but I did remove a hand though. That's pretty good. Get hit by a rock. Ah! That's right! Okay, I mean, that was such a slow attack. I'm not sure how you expect it to ever get anywhere with it. That's 
Don't be here right and he throws his hand. Ensuring that this lasts forevermore. Because yeah, his hands are in the way. They really are. Alright. Alright, didn't mean to do that. I got punched into a coin. Next messages. Here we go. Here we go. I mean, you can hear his cries of pain. Hey, the egg came back. <laughs> the egg rebuilt it. What? But we're going there, though. Wait. Are we going back to the fur? Are we? What's happening? Yeah. Why are we here? Little planetoid. Okay, sure. That egg is roasting. Okay, there's a fire version of you? I forgot that. Um, how's this gonna work? Okay, well, oh, your tail sometimes on fire. Sometimes on not fire. Okay. You gotta time it. Here we go, fried egg zone. Slight recoloration. It happens. Now you're very mad at me. I don't know, I might remember this from the first game. I'm not sure. Oh, this is kind of an annoying thing, though. Okay, so maybe don't directly pursue and try to do that, and then... Yeah, uh, so that looked on fire still, but I was not burnt. So I don't know what the lesson is here. Maybe I can still hit it, even if it's on fire? But like, maybe it's because it was in the process of unfiring, or... I don't know, I got one up, so... Oh boy. Um, I am digging the fire trail this causes. Like, it's just kind of... Yeah, see, there I tried to hit, but it was clearly a flame. So I think I was just lucky. I don't know what my health situation is, actually. There we go. So just some maneuvering and a funny little cartoon sound. Still going. Really? Okay. I am going to die. This is a lot to track of. Uh, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. Uh, whatever, it's fine. Oh no, I'm gonna buy the extra health. Yo, let me come back.
I saw a coin. No. Just missing. Really? There's a third. The egg did come back. Rude. How did that? Okay, that should be good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You do. You got. You got to get the timing. It's just. It's a timing thing. You gotta time it because you gotta approach while. While it's on fire, to have time to get it when it's not on fire. Ugh! Man! I- I think I remember fighting it, but I honestly kinda don't. I'm a little bewildered by its existence. <laughs> a little fire child here. Ugh! Alright. We're not at the driving station. Uh, we are somewhere else. Yeah, I did get it. This was a rich, uh, bit rich area. So yeah, we have access to the last Luma that I can see. What do you want? Green one, follow back. Oh, hey! Interesting tales of the little green Luma, huh? Alright, where was that exactly? It's a mystery. There he is, uh, right next to the B. Camera's going way up there. Hey, buddy. Cosmic jewels. So there's a second loop. Wait, no, no. I don't have a comet. I don't have a comet. You can't just not have a comet. I mean, okay, I guess that means I don't have to do that today. I mean, I'm kind of glad for that, but no comets. All right, because I just said you need all the star. I wonder if the comet is like, because it's boss related, maybe. Uh, it's like, after you clear this here. Yeah, no, no, you're gonna get 2,000. Aim well, because that is a lot. But luckily, we can fire ridiculous amounts at a time. Man, how much space is there within you, little guy? There you go. So full! And, uh, what? Off it goes, creating a new map. The last proper level, it feels like. It's cubes. Cubes and squares, it's looking like a level. And, uh, yeah. No comments, so... This is it! <laughs> like, that's it! That's, um... And then I'm thinking that beating that will unlock the comet in the place where I did today. 
And then I'm gonna get all the stars. In theory, there are 120. And then a second loop is gonna open up. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, uh, Galaxy 1 had the Luigi zone that I didn't do. Except you can just play as Luigi here. It was a green star. I've played a ROM hack before, and a Mario 64 ROM hack, where... Upon completion, I went to the end of the game, I talked to Yoshi, and he put a bunch of green stars in the game. Uh... I hope you don't blame me for wondering if that took inspiration from something that's gonna happen here. Because I feel like if I was close to the end of the game, I would feel it more in the comments and stuff, which doesn't feel like it. So I'm, I'm, yeah, there's gonna be like a half loop or a second loop of some kind. 